Hello my Linen Things family and friends. Welcome on back to the channel guys. Your girl Lynn here with Linen Things of course. And I got a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. Um, I was going to film this a couple of days ago when I picked the things up. Um, I did do a walkthrough. So some of these things you probably saw in my walkthrough. But I did want to bring you guys my um, haul from that shop with me okay. Um, but y'all I don't know something in the air is it's just busy. So uh, my daughter had a regular appointment Wednesday when I took her in. Unfortunately, she had a fever and her doctor sent her straight to the ER. So they put her back in the hospital. So I was like, oh my gosh. So that's where we've been. You know, she's back in the hospital. But good news. It was just for observation. They just want to make sure what's going on. Um, if you have been watching me, then you know that my oldest daughter, she has lupus. And just to quickly explain lupus, um, if you don't know what lupus is, it is a condition where your body fights against itself. So your immune system is fighting against itself. Okay. And so it's kind of like it doesn't like your immune system. If you're just, you know, a regular healthy person, you know, you can get a cold or anything like that. And your body helps to fight it off. Um, with lupus, it's kind of like attacking itself. So it can attack any organ that they have at any time. Um, they can have like rashes and it's, it's just a whole lot of different things that can go on with lupus. Um, and so recently, um, as of about three to four weeks ago, she had been hospitalized for two months um, because it uh, tried to affect her brain, y'all, which is very, very serious and, woo, you know, scared us. Um, but we, you know, prayed and we got through that hump, y'all. She, you know, came back to herself, got back to walking and talking and a miracle, y'all. Everything, you know, came back. Um, and so we were really shocked, like when she did go to her appointment that, you know, well, they say she had a fever and they didn't want to play any games because of, you know, what's going on with her body. If she has a fever, that means something might be trying to start up. So they were trying to just check out everything, make sure everything is good. Um, so they didn't find anything. We still don't really know why it was uh, a fever was starting, but, um, the good thing is they did observe her for a couple of days. She will be back home tomorrow. So yay for that. But yeah, y'all, we, we can get off, off track. If you have a family member that, you know, you take care of or help that has a condition, Lord, I pray for you because it really can be a lot y'all. It can, especially with lupus. It's so unpredictable. You know, the, and another thing is, I think they call it like the invisible disease, because if you see them, a lot of times you don't even know they have it. They look perfectly fine on the outside sometimes. Now, sometimes they can have rashes and then you'll see, but you still don't necessarily know what that rash may be. You don't know it's from lupus because different people have different things going on, but a lot of times they don't look sick, but, um, it's on the inside. It's a rheumatoidal type of thing. And so it can bother their joints, like their hands, their knees, their feet. Um, it can be achy. They can be very tired. Um, they can get um, brain fog. It's just really, y'all, it's a lot of different things. And my daughter has been fighting and a, a warrior against lupus for now almost 10 years. So um, thank you guys for the prayers when she was hospitalized. Like I say, she is hospitalized again right now. But mainly for observation, just checking out all of everything to see what's going on. Thank God everything has come back great and good and she'll be back home tomorrow. Um, on St. Patty's Day, she's so happy, y'all, because she want to do something. And so, y'all, make sure to come back tomorrow. Um, it may be a little later in the evening, but I will be doing my St. Patty's Day video for you guys. So, make sure to come back here tomorrow. So, we're going to get with what I picked up that day from the, the Dollar Tree. Now, I think it's my second favorite Dollar Tree that I uh, went to. So, you saw the thumbnail. Yes, 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 guys. Literally, that same day, I was watching Marina from Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. And um, she was showing these goalie um, super greens gummies. What? I was like, oh my gosh, I hope I find it. I hope I find that. Like I got off work that day and I went to the nearest DT I could. Well, actually not the nearest, but one that I had not been to. And y'all, your girl picked up a couple of these. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. There are a lot of benefits to this. It is gluten free. It is dairy free. It is vegan. Oh my gosh, y'all. These words are so little. I'm, I'm not going to try to read all of that. But there are a lot of great um, vitamins and things like that. There are super greens in it. Um, so I, I was excited, over excited to run into these. So your girl got a couple. 
of those and I'm not going in any order guys uh, the next thing y'all already know if you've been watching my hauls I try to pick this up every other time I hit a DT until they they stop carrying them y'all I really really love getting this I love that it is just so easy um I was listening to Anna um, from Only In My Dreams, and she was saying how this whole box, you know, it, it's, I think one box or maybe a box and a half could feed her whole family, you know, and it's like 125 you know what I'm saying? I just love it. I just love pancakes, y'all. So um, I tend to make them a lot sometimes, and so I don't want to run out. So I did grab up another box of my Hungry Jack pancakes because, like I say, I love them. And the funny thing is, guys, my big girl, since she's come home, um, from the hospital uh, when she did fell in love with pancakes and I was as I was making them she was like oh these are so good and truth be told she was not that big of a fan of pancakes and I was like oh that is so funny that now she loves pancakes and it was <laughs> these that I was making her um, when she came back so I was like that is so funny but I'm glad because usually I have to do pancakes for me and French toast for her she's the French toast girl I'm the pancake girl okay Okay, guys, so next we have our beautiful, beautiful uh, Craft Square. Uh, what are they calling it? It's, it's by Crafter Square, but it is um, a fabric square. I absolutely love this. I can open it because it's mine. <laughs> um, I wanted it because of the bees. And look at that. I, I'm so in love with the naturals. I love this. Um, I will be doing a bee and lemon theme area again. I did do one last year and I absolutely love how it turned out I love that for like my summer so right now I'll be trying to pull out my Easter right after tomorrow um, and try to set up my Easter but this is coming right after Easter if not around the same time depends on where I want to put it but I will be doing a bee thing so I got to get on picking up my bee items from the Dollar Tree before they're gone because y'all know how it is at the DT honey if you don't get it when you see it you might not find it again sad but true um, next, I did pick up these 100% uh, apple cider vinegar tablets. I absolutely love these. I was picking these up ooh, a couple of months ago here and there when I found them. But for a while, they had disappeared. So I like these. And they also have the turmeric ones as well, 100% turmeric, which is good for us. And so I kind of like these. I do have regular apple cider vinegar pills. They're a little bit bigger. I like these because they are smaller. Um, let me see if I can show you. And then, um, like it says, no bitter taste. Because if you ever try taking apple cider, drinking it, oh my goodness, that stuff is bitter. So these are quite small, as you can see. I like these better because they're small. So when I see these at the Dollar Tree, I pick them up. But guys, it's been a long time since I've seen them. Um, I kept seeing the turmeric, but I hadn't seen apple cider vinegar in a minute. Um, also just picked up some paper plates. I did pick up some of their little paper bowls, but we got into those already. Just grab those because, you know, we always can use paper plates. Um, we like to use them for snacks and things like that. Also something I have never picked up. I picked up some of the vegetable oil. Now I don't even use vegetable oil guys. I'm usually using olive oil or canola oil. Um, but I don't think I've seen canola oil at the Dollar Tree. And so I just grabbed this. I was like, just in case. I might not even um, use it a lot. But I stopped using vegetable oil years ago. Um, but I was like, you know what? In a pinch, it'll do. You know, so I grabbed this. And it was, it is a 16 fluid ounce uh, bottle. So um, at my local grocery store, uh, oils are so high now. They are so expensive now, y'all. It's just ridiculous. Um they're about six to seven bucks a bottle now and i was like oh wow i don't really use a lot of oil because i don't fry a lot of things honey we got the air fryer now um so i air fry a lot of things and so i don't really need oil for too many things but sometimes you know a recipe may call for oil like if you're going to make brownies or a cake and then sometimes with cakes especially i will uh substitute you know eggs and things like that with applesauce because that will keep your cake moist that's a tip for you guys so i don't really use oil a lot so i didn't mind getting that because it may be here for a long time because i very seldomly use oil um my next thing is oh my goodness it is one of my unicorns um actually the goalies were a unicorn but it was very short-lived because i found it the same day <laughs> thank you thank you but this thing here this next item i saw at least a year ago at least um or six six months to a year ago on pamela's channel uh pamela from Pamela's World, she was showing these, and I was like, whoa, what, 
what is that? Like, they have candles that big at the Dollar Tree. And so they had gotten in at her store these candles. And y'all, this is a huge candle compared to what Dollar Tree gives. Um, it says 8.7, um, 8.25 ounces. Um, and so it says it's love and nature and it's called Hey Sugar. I love that. It is a natural wood wick. So this is the wick, guys. I want to kind of put it close if you can see it. There you go. If you can see that right there, that little wick. So one, you're not finding a candle this big at the Dollar Tree. Two, you're not finding a wood wick. So I was thinking, oh, this is one of those things because Pamela is like in New York. I thought that's one of those things we'll never see here in Illinois because um, sometimes that happens like that. Sometimes you, you won't see um, certain items that you may see in somebody else's state. It just happens like that. I hate it. But or in my case, you may see it a year later. <laughs> so I was like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. And you might have seen this in my walkthrough. Um, I did show it. I was so excited, but I had to get out of that store that day. I was kind of in a hurry. So your girl grabbed two of them because I love candles. I'm burning one right now, y'all. My lemon one from Aldi. Mm -hmm. I keep a candle burning. So this uh, does smell a little bit like candy. I love it. And the glass jar is gorgeous. The glass jar is really thick. Look at that. There is a plastic on it, so I don't know if you can kind of see the beveled looking, yeah, little design. But this, for $125, was amazing to find. I was overexcited because I love candles. Love, love, love candles. I love burning them. And I have burned or I have purchased a wood wick candle before. And I kind of like that crackling sound that it makes. It makes like a little crackling sound. So I was ever excited to find that, y'all. And then um, next, y'all, last but definitely not least, this was another thing I saw on the same day that uh, Marina was showing in one of the stores. And I was like, oh, I hope our stores get that. And they did. Yes, they did. It is the Overnight Pads by um, Be Pure and Honey. So I was just over the moon happy about this. Because if you look at this, this puts you in the mind of... I want to say, I don't know why Honest is coming to my mind. That's not the company I'm thinking of. Um, but there is another company that is out. And these are putting me in the mind of those. But what I love about these is there are no dyes, no chlorine, and no added fragrances. They are organic cotton. Made with organic cotton. 100%, y'all. And then they are aloe scented and lavender scented. So I got everything that I saw, y'all. So these are the overnight. You get the, with the overnight, There's this is a six count. I also picked up a couple of the super. So same thing. I believe it has, yep, aloe and lavender. Um, this is an eight count. So I did get a couple of that one. And then they also were carrying the drop the liners. I was like, oh my gosh, yes. Same thing. Um, infused with aloe and lavender. Um, hundred percent made with hundred percent cotton. You can't get no better than that. A hundred percent cotton. Oh my goodness, no, no, no. For 125, yes, y'all. Your girl will be racking up more um once I go to another Dollar Tree. I just was I just could I was amazed to see that. You know that product would not be a dollar twenty-five anywhere. Walgreens, CVS, Walmart. You're not getting those for a dollar twenty-five, a hundred percent cotton. Um, I just thought that was a fantastic find, and I was so happy that Dollar Tree got those in because, like I said, sometimes you'll see something on somebody's channel, and your wish list is getting longer and longer. And it's like some of those things you might come across uh, really soon, like some items I found the same day, uh, or you may find it a year later, like I did with the candles. <laughs> it's it's crazy, y'all. But that's just some of the finds that I found that day. It was such a great day. Uh, found a lot of new items, and I was so happy about that. And, um, yeah, that is it, guys. I wanted to share that, guys, with you um, really, really quickly. Don't forget, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like Dollar Tree content or Dollar Tree um, hauls, reviews, walkthroughs, um, I also like Ray Dunn. And I like doing little videos like tomorrow's video, fun facts. Um, I will be doing a little something for St. Patty's Day. I like to do that for like all the holidays. I like to decorate and things like that. So don't miss that. And also hit that like. That like is so very important. And if you're new here, go binge watch some of the old videos. Please go back and then kind of get to know me how I started. Go back and check out those videos. 
I love you guys so much. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.